Hi, uh, this has been shown before. I just wanted to add a couple other things to the list because it is, in fact, a pretty common theme or pattern, and it's got to be on the right track. CERN, um, a succession of machines that accelerate particles. Uh, the Large Hadron Collider is the world's most powerful particle accelerator. So CERN is a particle accelerator, right? And so is the Nazi Bell, or was the Nazi Bell. Put simply, Nazi Bell was, in fact, a heavy particle accelerator. Uh, Nazi Bell was a spherical tokamak particle accelerator. The Nazi Bell uh, particle accelerator was even more efficient because this is, and this is, so CERN is another version of the Nazi Bell. And the Nazi Bell is another version of another machine. It's the same machine they keep rebuilding over and over again. And it, being a particle accelerator, one of the things it does is, it, is it, it's a time and space machine. Okay, so you have the Nazi Bell, and so it all goes back to Bell Saturn. And one of the things that this that CERN is represented as is is the bell, and which is the phone. As you can see here's a bell, here's bells. It's it rings like a bell, right? The phone rings, and it's very interesting because that's what they use in movies and television shows. They show over and over again to cross dimensions or go from one reality to another or to contact the other side, and that's supposedly what this stuff was built for. Was in fact a telephone and all these things were all built to contact the other side. I mean, look it up. It's not conspiracy. It's not make-believe. So I just wanted to show, and this has been a lot of the times it's been shown, I just I just wanted to add a couple things to it. You know, Bill and Ted, they went through space and time. Here's Saturn even in the back through a phone booth, right? Same thing as the uh, Doctor Who show. And phone is short for Phoenician, and that's the first guys, apparently, who did all this stuff. It's Carol Ann in the movie Poltergeist. You know, contacting the ghosts, and they were coming through on the phone and talking to her, not talking to her on the phone, but they were communicating through the phone. Same thing in the movie The Mothman Prophecies with Richard Gere. That's how he talked to the Mothman. The Mothman's a supernatural entity through the phone. E.T., an alien, right? What do you want? A demon, a fallen angel? What do you want to do? Phone home, yeah? Lawnmower Man. It's about a guy who hijacked virtual reality. And then through, through wanting to try through a computer, using a virtual reality to hijack the real reality, and he said whenever he crossed over and actually was successful in transferring and, and transcending and, and uploading his brain or his power from virtual reality into reality, he had a billion phone calls to make, and in fact, that's how the movie ends. Sorry, spoiler alert, but he gets out of virtual reality and the phones all over the world start ringing. And then the Matrix is how they went in and out, right? So, definitely a common theme. It's pretty interesting. It's a field of dreams. Build it. If you build it, they will come. Right? And he built it out in a cornfield because corn is kernel and kernel is CERN. And another thing, uh, it's funny because the cult science was just talking about the Mayans and how they talk about their ancestors or what have you coming from maize or corn, right? It's all coming from the. It's in, it's, and we built this thing, they tricked us into building it. Just like in that Lego commercial I just showed you, if you build it, they will come, and that's what they're trying to do, is open this portal vortex to Bell Saturn and let their little buddies out. So go back and forth between realities and contacting the dead and contacting the supernatural and going into other dimensions, always through the phone in the movies and TV shows, it seems. So just wanted to add to it. That was, it's, this blows my mind. I don't know. It's pretty interesting stuff when watch all these things and have no idea what you're that you're seeing the same thing over and over again i've seen these movies a thousand times and five years ago i wouldn't have any idea that they're all connected so i think it's neat all right thanks to my subscribers and people who keep coming back